Hello everyone, I'm Intense Thrills, and I know I've been going for a little while, but it was kind of for a benefit. I thought I would start early than never, so I actually worked hard in doing a lot of videos and scheduling a lot of videos for you guys, so I don't overwhelm myself and I don't keep you guys waiting. So I thought it was a benefit, and I know you guys are kind of worried, but you know, we're all good. You know, I just take the time to do that and appreciate you guys for sticking through. And, you know, as always, let's jump straight into the video. So I thought I would rant on this one kind of like because you already kind of know about Superman the Rod because I kind of talked about it a lot. And, you know, I like like I said, I kind of thought I would rant on this one because it kind of was interesting and it was kind of mind boggling. And it kind of has me like, you know, going back and forth. So if you don't know, I recently took a trip to Six Flags New England and I was able to get six rides on Superman the Ride and I was able to get a lot of rides on Wicked Cyclone. But the case is I kind of won't in today's video, I kind of won't be talking about S Wicked Cyclone. I kind of will be talking about how Superman the Ride managed to dethrone Wicked Cyclone and actually take its spot in being my favorite in the park and being my number two in my rankings. So how about we stop talking and jump straight into the reasons why. So two of my rides out of the six were back row. And I already told you guys a lot about how back row rides are, how I like it. The airtime is really good. Everything was the same as usual as I talk about. Everything was the same. But that's not what really changed my perspective on this ride. What really changed my perspective is front row rides. And thanks to Dopamine Kosas for suggesting this, for us to do this, because it really changed my like whole perspective on this ride. And it changed everything for this ride. So I got two front row rides by myself, and then I got two with Dopamine Kosas. So the two front row rides that I got by myself, I legit grayed out on the spaghetti bowl section. And like, it was like, wow, okay, hold on. That's, that's insane. So I'm like, okay, this is running like back row. This is running like back row, like really good. But the thing with the front is the only downfall of the front row is you don't really get good airtime on the drop as you do in the back. But this is where everything changed. On every single airtime hill, well, every single camelback hill, you get as equal as amount as airtime in the back, in the front. And that was what shocked me the most. You get really good ejector in the front as you would do in the back. But that's also what shocked me. But what really shocked me was how great the front row ride really is like the front row is like probably the best row on this ride definitely try it out when i tell you you would when superman ride is running really good and you would gray out on the first overbank turn after the uh after the head chopper tunnel after the drop that bank turn you are going to gray out and i legit grayed out two times on that bank turn and I'm like, dude, what is going on? And I legit grayed out from there to the, to the second camel back. And I'm like, dude, what is going on? Why is the front row really this good? And like, it was like, I never seen Superman be this good. Well, it's good, but I never seen it this good. And I'm like, okay, this is, this is definitely something. So... I rode Wicked Cyclone, and Wicked Cyclone was good as usual. But what I find is that it's kind of repetitive. And I feel like Superman the Ride is more diverse than Wicked Cyclone. And that's what really, if Superman the Ride being diverse, that's what changed the game all with this ride. And honestly, I'm going to say it, Superman the Ride is the best in the park, hands down. And that's probably not going to change until I visit again to really see. But for right now, I think it's the best in the park. 
And usually, I would usually say Wicked Cyclone is the best in the park. But Superman the Ride really showed out and really dethroned Wicked Cyclone. And it took the title for the best in the park for me. And Wicked Cyclone went from number two to number four. Superman the Ride went from number three to number two. So that's really that shows how good Superman the Ride really was running. And, you know, obviously the restraints are bad. But I feel like once you get used to them, it's not... Well, it's still going to be bad, but as soon as I kept getting rides, because I forgot how the restraints really were, but once I kept getting rides, I'm like, okay, this is fine, you know? Like, once I marathoned Superman to ride, I was like, oh, yeah, the restraints are fine. Like, well, they're not fine, but they're okay. Because I know a lot of people hate the restraints. I hate them too, but once you marathon and get used to them, it's okay. But... That's honestly what I have to say. Definitely, definitely, definitely try Superman the Ride once you go to Six Flags New England in the front. That thing is a beast in the front. And I wish I was able to go more to Marathon Superman the Ride in the front because that thing was honestly a really great experience. That's going to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed my rant. And definitely try the front row. Start with the back, then the front. But that's going to do it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, stay intense.